Now, standard uncertainties can come in different forms. And one of the very common cases is where we look at the standard uncertainty for a sample. So let's say we make a, a number of measurements, for example, the weight of a banana or several bananas. So I just put a banana, which looks a little bit ripe already, onto kitchen scales and I record the weight. So I've got one banana with a weight of 99 grams. I've got one banana with 95 grams and I've got a banana with 92 grams. And I want to know what is the mean, the average weight of a banana. And uh, to uh, calculate that, uh, I calculate the average of the weight and I denote this with this X with this bar on top. It's also called X bar because our data here from the three bananas, they represent just a sample from all possible bananas and that's why we indicate it with an X bar. And this is the sample mean. So I just simply add all the bananas together. 99 plus 95 plus 92 divided by 3. And that's, of course, in grams. And if I put that in a calculator or do it by hand, I get a mean of 95.33 grams. So that's my mean. Now, what is the uncertainty? Because we said we always need to give it as x bar plus minus an uncertainty. And I abbreviate the uncertainty here with this lowercase u. Now, if we are using a sample like we do here with several measurements, in this case, we have a, a total number of n equals 3. So we have three measurements. The uncertainty, the standard uncertainty for the sample is given by the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And this expression very often is also referred to as the standard error, standard error of the mean. or sometimes also called SE, or sometimes also SEM. So how do we get this standard error of the mean? We need to calculate our standard deviation. Now the equation for calculating a standard deviation, we call this S, equals what we basically need to do is we need to calculate how far is every data point away from the mean that we've calculated. We add them all up and we divide by n minus 1 and take the square root of it. So this would look like in mathematical uh, writing, we take the sum of each data point, that's xi, minus the mean that we've just done. We square it and we do that for e equals 1 up to n. We divide it by n minus 1 and then take the square root of it. Like that. Now Let's do that step by step, uh, we, because that looks a little bit intimidating. Uh, most calculators can easily do that. In Excel, it would be the function equals standard deviation dot s. And here are the data x1 to xn. So Excel can do that. Uh, let's just simply quickly do that uh, by hand, uh, or at least write it out by hand. So the first data point was 99 
gram minus 95.33 squared plus the second data point that was 95 grams minus 95.33 squared plus the third data point that was 92 gram minus 95.33 squared and you see the 95.33 always here that is our mean that we earlier calculated whereas the 99, 95 and 92 these are the recorded values we divide that by n minus 1 because it is a sample and I'll explain that in a different video why we do it by n minus 1 so divide it by 2 and we take the square root of that and when we do that we get a standard deviation of 3.5 for our standard deviation. So that's the standard deviation that we have. And we can calculate our standard error. Standard error. This is, as I said, the standard deviation by the square s divided by the square root of n. So this would be what well, we just calculated 3.51 divided by square root of 3 and if we did that we would get a value of 2.028 or something like that. Now we can record the average weight of the banana plus minus the uncertainty so the average weight or the mean plus minus our standard uncertainty standard uncertainty u this is x bar plus minus the standard uncertainty that we just calculated s over square root n so we would get here 95.333 grams plus minus 2.07 sorry 2.028 grams now we also need to be mindful of the numbers of significant figures with which we report anything. And the rule is that standard uncertainty U, this one here, or in general, any uncertainty should only be recorded or reported to one or maximum two significant figures significant figures and I've got another video about significant figures so if we report it only to one significant figure so the significant figure would be 2 here so we would say plus minus 2 grams and now we need to adjust the decimal places and significant figures in our measurement and uh, to do so, we say, okay, our significant figure for the uncertainty that is here in the unit position, that's the unit position. So that's unit position. And therefore, we need to start with our measurement also in the unit position. So that means we can only report it to the same unit positions so it would be 95 plus minus 2 grams because this here is also in the unit position we can't say 95.3 plus minus 2 grams that would not be correct because we need to have the same uh, unit pos the same position in the measurement and in the uncertainty